Good old King K. <laughs> I don't remember the last time I heard someone call him that. All right. I'm sure you've gained some strength in getting it, haven't you? That was literally that was it. Yeah. So the beauty of all this is that yeah, Goku gets to experience the fruits of his training from going up against rats, and also he just tried to beat rats now, like. <laughs> Also, something about I think the crickets are the ones responsible for teaching the spirit bomb, which is kind of funny. Interesting. You've already attained the spirit bomb. Oh, please tell me it's a space balls joke. That was more like a graduation test. I I love it. It really is just like a space balls joke. The ring doesn't do anything. Each time you complete the training lesson I assign you, you gain the means to great, greater control your key. I guess so. By choosing ultimate attack during battle, we'll, you'll be able to use the spirit bomb. I mean, I've already learned how to use ultimates anyway, so... Cool. We now have the best move in the game. Effectively. I still think Azure Technique is the best move in the game, but that's irrelevant. Anyway. This is a technique that borrows a small amount of energy from things like grass, trees, humans, and animals. Well, humans later on. Eventually, the energy from things in the air itself can be gathered and released. You can even tap into the massive energy of the sun. Think about that. Wouldn't that be fucking crazy? Like, I don't think we ever really talked about that. Or it comes up later on. That's so cool. Although, I, I made this joke with Taylor. Yeah, let's, um, let's make Goku more like, um, kal -El, you know, Superman. Funny stuff. I think it's cute. Yeah, hopefully the Kaioken is good enough. I mean, it does put him uh, one up over Vegeta's base energy, so that's cool. Just didn't expect him to have a him to have a means of multiplying his power by ten and having effectively no drawbacks. And his entire time, uh, King Kai didn't have the return trip calculated. Oops. I've got to add in the time it would take to, before you travel back across Snake Way. Uh, ha hmm. Oops. Couldn't you beat me down to earth with one of your tricks? I mean... You, you, yeah, yeah, that's the, only, that's the only problem with the whole portal thing. Like, why can't you use that to bring him back to the other side of Snake Way? I'll kind of like calm you until you get through. Okay. Yeah, and then the Earth's Gonzo... Pro well, no, nah, actually, I think it still will take them a good while to actually raise the planet, but, you know... Either way, it doesn't really matter that much because, well, holy shit. The time it takes for a Goku to travel back across Snake Way anyway is like nothing in comparison. Oh, yeah, the whole communication thing. Right, we got some cutscenes to sit through, unfortunately. Well, it makes sense. But, you know. And the joke about him looking at porn while sitting on the shitter. <laughs> Here is just a newspaper. Yeah, actually, that checks out. And then the Kai, I think it was changed into like a fitness magazine. Yeah. Genuinely, I'm I'm glad going back and experiencing all this. Like I'm amazed at the amount of um, jokes I managed to be able to uh, actually do sanitize at the time. This is great stuff. That's a month earlier than I expected. Yeah, I'm really catching everyone by uh, by surprise. I don't know. I guess uh, Vegeta and Nappa uh, kind of skipped some breaks or. Took a faster method. I don't know. Good stuff. Also, one of Bulma's better designs. I can hear mumbling. Yep. It's extremely funny in hindsight, given that this is well before the I, the idea of uh, cell phones. Wait, no, there were already those uh, handheld cell phones that were kind of existed back in the '80s that were fucking massive bricks. Eh, details. Either way, funny, not taking away from the joke at all. <laughs> I actually got through. Yeah, we noticed. Unfortunately, this would be King Kai's only real use going forward, you know. Oh yeah, the, the new uh, change of clothes too. They aren't just like that strong material. Light attacks will bounce right off. 
literally does that with one Nappa's techniques too, and then Vegeta does one. It's like, oh nope, clothes are gone. <laughs> and then the funny, funniest thing. I I do like that symbol the most. Those those look really nice. All right, get the show on the road. Literally the day before. Also, uh, Shenron has the green chin here. Very funny. Very early colorations. Uh, you know, it's funny because giving him more time on, on King Cosman would be hilarious and also very productive, but... Nah, Kami is my creator. I cannot grant wishes that exceed Kami's power. So it's funny because I think you could have wished to have them moved towards the sun anyway. And you know, it's funny. It's just funny. What what kind of ways you could have actually weaseled your way out of the sand threat by like moving them elsewhere and push them somewhere else. Literally. Ah, yep. Okay. Goku's gear is gone on Gohan. We got the whole purple one now. It's fine. I'm used to it. Yeah, that's kind of the implication. Looks like... Looks like Bubbles is almost T-posing there. But how does the sprite T-pose? It should not. This is extremely funny. Alright, time to book it. Your enemy is evil and stronger than you can imagine. I, I can't let you guard down for a moment. Yeah, more or less. Funny detail I didn't catch on is the fact that... uh, The other guys, Piccolo... Uh, Tian, Yamcha, and Chaozu actually managed to make it from the entrance of Snakeway all the way to King Kai's plant in like under a month. Because of the fact that they're telepathically communicating with him while he's still on the sand, on the spaceship, heading to Namek. And I think it was like a good couple week delay from, uh, like a month's delay, roughly, from when Vegeta left to when Goku was able to actually head out. Who could have thought someone like him existed in the lower world? Yeah. No? Okay. Anyway, it's going to take him literally no time at all in order to make it back. One million miles in one day. And he fell off. <laughs> I like just I just like to imagine that's what happened. And so at 11.43 a.m. the next day, the Saiyans were, the Earth was invaded by two Saiyans. Two this time. Really is a fun day. Also, uh, East City got blown the fuck up. Oops. Funny thing, when we go back to visit East City later on, yeah, it's, um, not much of it is left. That sure was scary. Yeah, I would say so. Like something fell from the sky? And you, you don't say. <laughs> Gotta love these reactions. Hey, it's someone I would like to have as a party member. Nope. And just like that, we have officially moved into the end game. Finally. God, yeah, that those uh those chapters definitely took a while. The Sands arrive, an all-powerful confrontation. Cool, I think. The, uh, the uh music when you're on the overall though is really nice. Right, it's time to uh have some fun. Yeah, actually, I think for a quick minute, though, I'm going to take a quick two-minute break. Uh, chat's pretty quiet right now. That's totally fine. I'm going to quickly uh, take off in order to uh, get myself a drink, uh, probably run to the bathroom, and we will start the proper final bit of the game. A lot of people are going to die. It's going to be fun. <clears throat> okay, I'm back. Drink acquired, and we're ready to kick off. The fun times that are about to be had by the Z-Fires, as in everyone, despite spending a year straight, Training in order to, for the Sands arrive uh, are still vastly, vastly underprepared. Um, incredibly. I can only imagine how much better they would actually would have fared if given that extra month, but I don't think too much better. Actually, that's not true. I think Gohan might have actually taken Nappa's head off. Oh yeah, Yab uh, Yadrobi's here too. Keep him in mind. Ugh, unfortunately, everyone's on different sect corners of the planet, and um. The Sands are already here and moving towards Piccolo and Gohan fast. However, one thing you want, do want to keep in mind is that um, 
when the user scatters they actually immediately detect that the two biggest power levels are located in the same place so that means that either piccolo or gohan is the strongest right now and that's really cool and also neat little foreshadowing about what's the what's coming up later on not bad indeed and Nappa immediately proceeds to glass the whole the whole fucking city. Which very um very funny, but um yeah, you may have accidentally deep sixed your chances of getting a wish because you may have taken out one of the Dragon Balls. Uh Nappa has green armor there, that's kinda funny. Okay, now it's play it too much order price will go down as well when we sell it. True. Yeah, sell it to exactly Frieza, since I don't think there's much other in the way of competition out there. Ugh. Okay. Now, luckily, um, the Dragon Balls can be repaired, but I I think they may have there there is that very funny chance that Nappa may have nixed their chances of trying to get her, their wish granted right then and there. There's a bunch of power levels over one thousand. I don't know what Nappa's power is, probably around like 5 or 6, something like that, give or take. Again, power levels mean literally nothing, especially going to the Namek Saga, where it's initially just meant to be like a play in order to show how actually strong the en enemy is, but more than that, the wall you have to climb over in order to beat them, and also the further lesson that they as portrayed where, you know, um, <laughs> never judge a book by its cover, especially with the Z fighters. Ugh, okay. Now, of course, the thing I said before about uh, a lot of dialogue in this game, um, it's about to come to a head a little bit. Yeah, they are coming right for you. Quite literally D-Day, in fact. All right. We are very concerned with the welfare of East City. Um, what East City? I've never seen East City before. It's not there anymore. Yeah. <sighs> okay. There is still that funny talk we had. Master Roshi could probably brought the fight to Nap a little bit, but he wouldn't have done too much if they hadn't even like a semblance of worrying about him. And you just gotta love how quickly the, the mood shifts, especially going forward, because this is, this is not a world tournament, and no one's fighting for world domination. You're fighting for your fucking life out here. Even the birds leave. That's kind of fucking... That's a little creepy, actually. Yup. Yeah, one year of training, and, and Piccolo's taking his power of, like, 300-ish, like, 320. To over over a thousand resting, so you're gonna do pretty good. In fact, it's even more impressive for Nat for Piccolo since, well, for being honest, I don't think he did much in the way of actual training that we saw. I mean, obviously he was still doing it, but like, it was probably was mostly off screen. It was mostly focused on Gohan. So, cool stuff. All right, Piccolo, um, defensive behemoth. He's already has a fucking tech of 118. That's pretty good. Uh, Gohan is, is, is that guy now, so we can kind of go in a little bit with his stats, not going to lie. Uh, giving him boost of percentile bumps is going to be incredibly good. So I'm thinking maybe, uh, raises attack by 50%, lower, that's actually pretty decent. That's actually very decent, not going to lie. Um, as far as other stuff to give him, maybe evasion in order to continue buffing. No, nah, I'm going to give him, or is it, um, regeneration for he, where the hell is the item? Nope, that's not it. Reduces key, uh, raise the rate of rege HP regeneration. Oh, interesting. Maybe I'll have to try one out, because I don't think I've seen one before. As for you, yeah, you're good. Um, skills? Anything worthwhile that I've missed out on their training? Um, no, not terribly, unfortunately. Uh... Yeah, I think, well, crit up would be pretty cool. 
as well as for you. Oh, chain up. All right, that's fine. Chain up is the one that you want in order to actually do more attacks with your, um, if you want to get more chains out with your attacks. Here we go, boys. <laughs> is there three Saiyans? Oh, you know what? Very funny because I don't think they, they know that the others have been training with Kami so they can sense energy now. That's actually really funny. Boy, when I Krill be a fan of that. <laughs> anyway, this is also immensely cool because... I mean, it's mostly bravado for Piccolo's part right now, but remember, like... Piccolo has seen the depths of what Krillin is able to pull off back in the 23rd World Tournament. Being able to get up from the floor after being knocked down to it from like, like a half a mile in the sky. Good stuff. Like he's already got a pretty deep built respect for Krillin as it is. And Krillin cannot recognize Gohan at all. Alright, that's one more of uh, with us. Hell yeah. Uh, let's see. Krillin, what are we giving you exactly? I feel like another H HP up would be good. And... Oh yeah, regeneration for sure. Make you hell to try to kill. Yeah, even this team by itself is going to put in some good mileage. If I could be real here, I think one of my favorite three-man three man cells in general right now is still Gohan, Piccolo, and Krillin. That's really fun. Alright, um... Anything good? key up yeah I'll go for that that sounds good all right now you can probably tell what all this is for yeah we're, it's time to start prepping because hang where you go I'm not sure where you're supposed to go right now actually damn it <laughs> oh yeah pickle actually full, uh, with the um, the weights off too. how about that haven't seen that yet all right the shark disc this is free real estate practically I think this should kill. Yes, also you're not imagining it. Uh, Cybermen in the wild. There is many jokes to be made about them being actual Pokemon now. Um, well, fuck. Where do I go from here? Pretty sure... Nah, we're bailing. Um, shit, dude. I'm not sure where to go right now. Because it's like a straight canyon wall. Like, there's not mu much place to go right now. Hang on. Um, let me check the guide. Hang on a sec. Head north for, for seeing when which Krillin joins up. Go to the next arena where you should save at the CC point. They continue on north. Hit the large rock with three key blasts. Are you talking about this one? Oh. Yeah, it was not blinking at first, so I was a little confused by that. There we go. Okay, now we don't have to worry about that anymore. Yay. Um, also, there's some other items around here, too. Let me... Yeah. Also, I love the goofy-ass music playing here. Nice. Cool. Alright, let's see. Head north. Uh, to do... Super Sensu Bean is somewhere around here. Go back north and head west. Okay, so... There is some things we can, we can get here. That's pretty cool. Also, yay, more dungeons crawling. Woo! Just what the doctor ordered. Beam. Beam. Oh shit, these ones actually have some defense about them. I think we more concerned if they actually uh, call for backup there, honestly. But yeah, no, nah. We got a full fucking team now, hell yes. We go this way? No. This is confusing, what the hell? And jump with the ledge and head right to a small destructible rock covered by grass. Head south down into the hidden path inside the cliff. What? Okay. Yeah, that's just a thing that happens, I guess. Alright, well, either way, got some Cybermen to kill off. Yes, obviously, I know it's very funny that they are just kind of in the wild now. Um, the point here is that um, they're going to be regular enemies you're going to encounter because we'll have to deal with them first and foremost with um, Piccolo. Oh, I see. With, with the guys. That was very weird. Super Sensu Bean. What the hell does that do? To heal everyone? Does everyone share one? Provides all allies HP and heat to max, reviving them and curing all status. Wow, that's... <laughs> that is actually kind of insane. I could probably buy a fuckload of that. I just don't haven't spent money in a long time. Cool. 
Got her. I think we can probably kill them all before they even do anything. Yeah. There we go. This team right here is like, I think, probably one of the best teams you can use in order to deal with multiple enemies at the same time. Ah, fuck. Here's the battle. Okay. I really, I should have refilled my key, but it's whatever. Here we are. All right, so here's my current um, goal for how, going things, uh, things going forward. I'm gonna, tr I'm gonna deal with everything involving Nappa up until Goku arrives in this stream, in, towards the end of this stream, and then the actual bits with uh, Vegeta in the end game will be the following stream, and then Broly will be that one stream following that. So. We are, in fact, rapidly approaching upon the end game. Finally, yeah, they're a little bit uh, spicy with the key energy. And the immediate revelations just start uh, rolling in. <laughs> Let me ask, just in case. Yeah, just in case we can walk out of this one. Well, not really defeated. One of the ones that helped, at least. It be, and it happens to have a very wide transmission area. That guy's a Namek. A Namek. That's a weird thing to say. Yeah, I appreciate how they. Uh, VG actually does have some respect for uh, Namekians that is not entirely surprising that one was able to kill uh, Riots. Funny that. Good details. Are you an alien too? We've known about this for a good while, but you know, it. I guess the others are. Maybe it's dramatic irony that everyone else knows that everyone else doesn't know, but we do as the audience viewer. I don't know. As long as having above average power levels there, they say dynamics also have special skills. Yeah. You made the Dragon Balls, didn't you? Well, not, well, you're not off, off base. You're like a fly to us. Um, well, be glad you don't you haven't run to nail just yet. Well, it's really cool that uh, Piccolo does say he has admiration for his forefathers, nothing else. That's pretty cool. And Kami, once again, is doom posting that he's not going to last much longer. I think we may have mentioned that earlier, but I had no idea I'm an alien. I knew it was different than everyone else, but. Yeah, it's funny because I, that's a slight, okay, yeah, Totally Not Mark did bring it up. It's a slight weird thing in the plot because it's never show. it's stated that Kami got amnesia, but it's never shown when it would have happened or how, but I felt sort of nostalgia. Hmm. It seems like Kami himself never goes to Planet Namek, although... Maybe you can argue he does if Piccolo ever did go back to Namek when he had all three of them fused into himself. I don't know. So unfortunately, we, uh, well, I guess fortunately for us, but not so much for the Sands, um, they got some things in order to negotiate. 981, 1220, 1083. I love these arbitrary as fuck numbers. It's so good. And Vegeta, okay, yeah. Also, Mark did point out also that it's one really good point also is that one of the most terrifying aspects of the Sands also is that Vegeta is fucking brilliant with being able to adapt to combat situations on the fly. Like, he immediately pieces together that the Scours aren't telling them the full truth as to how strong they actually be because they can raise and lower their power level. They got that from the, the Rats fight, so yeah. Yeah, you guys got your workout for you today. The, the situations already seem pretty hopeless as it is because obviously like... Okay, they can already hardly hold their own against Nappa and Nappa's just playing around and Nappa's scared shitless of Vegeta. So it's like, yeah, they're not fighting Vegeta by themselves. And so the return of what was, ah, uh, you, you just, you love to see it. It's very funny. The return of was potentially, uh, 
fair combat from Toriyama's writing until it quickly does not become that with Krillin uh, just going in. They're planning plants. Hmm. Actually, I gotta say, those renders are better than I thought they would be. And here's the funniest thing. Well, yeah, they do initially fight uh, all three of them, all six of them as just the three until eventually their boys do show up because they're kind of on the other side of the planet right now. Assumedly. I think Piccolo could probably take him all on by himself, but that wouldn't be ideal. There we go. Yes, don't worry. I'm pretty sure you will get a chance to adjust your layout accordingly before we, you get too deep into it. So just bear that in mind. <laughs> we do, in fact, have friends. <laughs> Tien, I admire the uh, thing on the ball, but um, the, the, the little green ones do not a sand make. One for each human. I'm glad we qualify Chao to as a human. Because that's not an immediate distinction I would make. Let's beat them around. Zombie around Bush will take you all at once. Yep, and Chrome with a call of the lifetime because it will actually allow time for uh, Goku to come back too. They need somewhere in a ballpark of like three, four hours, give or take. So pretty convenient as it is. Because, yeah, it is like a full day for him to actually make the return trip. That thing, you know, it's funny. Looking back on it, Legacy of Goku 1 didn't even have the, uh, the side of men. Now I think about it. Yeah, I'm pretty sure about that fact. Huh. I've been meaning to go back and replay the game eventually in order to just, like, see how far we come, really. 